keep playing yeah, over. Yeah, let's play this one out. This has yeah. been a great game. Going into the overtime, who do you think has the edge, Larry? Well, I, you know, UT Martin losing all those players that they lost uh, in the uh, initial part of the game, particularly in the second half, I think has really hurt them. Austin P. I I think, would have the advantage here. Elijah Day Hay and Riderwald have both fouled out. So UT Martin's a little thin in the backcourt. But the way the Skyhawks finished regulation, we'll see what happens. Channels leaves that shot short. Here comes Lester Hudson. Well, Hudson. Channels has just had a terrible night tonight. Good pass by Lane. And the bucket. Simmons got it on running down the right side. Lane got him the basketball in the right place. Simmons, Pretty play. Simmons has been big. He got a big rebound late at the end of regulation. That led to the two free throws with 3.3 seconds to go by Lester Hudson that got us to overtime. We're now number 25 in blue. Drake Reed at the line. Free throws. He's had a good night at the free throw, at the free throw line. One of two. So Reed tonight, Defense. 9 of 12 at the stripe. Del Rico Lane with a basketball. Lane turns the corner and has a shot blocked by Reed. And we're going the other way. Defense. Nice play at the end right there to get Austin P the ball back. Defense. 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 Drake Reed came over to us at the shoot around this afternoon. And uh, coach said, how you feeling? And Drake said, ready to go. I'd I say he wasn't lying. With three personal fouls for the majority of the second half. Hudson's got it now. Inside to Massey. Lost the handle, got it back, and he is fouled. Turn for McNeese State. Massey. With two free throws, he always seems to find a way into the scoring column. He's got at least two points in every game despite limited minutes, with the exception of a game at Tennessee State on January 10th and our ESPNU game at Tennessee Tech on January 15th. Three on the way, no good. And we'll stay at this end. Back out front to West Channels. Tyrone Caldwell has played big for the Governors tonight off the bench. Caldwell, the penetration. All the way under, what a shot! Tyrone Caldwell from right here in Clarksville, a true freshman. Hudson. Over Campbell. Got it. Good night. You believe that shot? And the forced shots he had at the start of the second half. There, he's got 27. I know. And it has been a struggling 27. Drake Reed, double team. And Del Rico Lane came out of there with a basketball. I what a Re quick move by Del Rico Lane. Well, I think Reed got a little surprised. I think he thought the ball was going to go out of bounds, and Lane just came up the sideline, grabbed it, and kept going. Del Rico Lane was a blue and orange blur. Three up, no good. Rebound, Massey. And he gets it off to Del Rico Lane. Six point lead now for the Skyhawks. Here's Clayton, the dish. Shot is blocked. He's back here in the overtime, of course. Lester Hudson. In overtime, on the road. And we got a lane violation. Channels for three. Tough luck shot. He's had that kind of night. And we're going the other way. Minutes. Are they going to get out of Austin P, the toughest home court in this conference, with a win? It's beginning to look that way as we close in on 90 seconds to play in overtime. And Del Rico Lane lost it. Here's Reed. And he had that ball just taken away. Here's Hudson in the open floor. The lob and Clayton with the delivery. It's a nine point lead. Hudson put it up near the rim and Reuben Clayton deposited the basketball. How about the play that time by Del Rico Lane? Three won't go. Drake read the board. Between a trio of defenders, where you're gonna will they count the basket? Yes, they will. One time. Reed's trying to bring Austin P back though. And he rolls it in. 
That's a big three point play, a two possession game. Del Rico Lane with a huge bucket in this overtime. Good ball movement, right guy to foul. Missed it. Oh, tough luck. Missed them both. Door cracked open here for Austin P. Caldwell double team. Here's chance for three. Missed it. And that's a good foul by Caldwell because Del Rico Lane was ahead of the pack. Del Rico Lane touches every part of the rim and it made them both. 81 73. 45 seconds to play in overtime. Reed fires up a three and knocks it right in. Timeout, Austin P. Del Rico Lane will trigger it. And a foul by Drake Reed. That's Here's Clayton. One more to come. One of two. 82 76. He's got to go up with it. Reed. Swings it over to Campbell for three. High arcing shot, no good. Caldwell off the channel. Hit it. He finally got a three to go down. Favors the Skyhawks. Both teams in the double bonus. With 3.3 in regulation to get us in overtime at the strike again. Hudson is tough. Hudson's got 29. Drake Reed. That is offline. Did not touch the rim. And a foul is called. Clayton hits the free throw. Loss. Their longest losing streak since the 01 02 season when they lost five straight. And it would be their fourth loss at home this year. Shot is good by Caldwell. 86 82. Lester Hudson's got it again, and he's fouled again. Almost nine rebounds over his last ten games. He's got 30 right now. Well, but, uh, while they played some money games early in the season, I mean, once they got into conference play and since, I mean, they have just been as good as anybody in the country. 87-82, that is your final. UT Martin wins.